What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new squad foundation objective player to review today and it is going to be Mateus Oribe, I believe that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry, it's not an easy name to pronounce, we all know it ain't. Either way, he's looking like an amazing box-to-box -box centre mid with his 81 pace, his 83 dribbling, his 80 shooting, 82 defending, 82 passing and 87 physicals as well. And this is the thing about him, right? He's not one of those small midfielders that is like five foot six, five foot seven. No, he's actually a six foot midfielder, which means that reach in that midfield is actually gonna be really, really good. He has got high, high work crates as well, which is always nice to see. He's got three star skill moves and he has got four star weak foot. I do really like to see a four star weak foot in the midfield because I know I can turn a Viva foot and be comfortable with his passing ability rather than turning on like a three star weak foot and knowing time to time it's most likely going to screw up. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, I have gone for the shadow chem style simply because of the pace. There's no other way of really putting it. You just want to make this guy as fast as possible in that midfield. You want him to get out the players really quickly with his 91 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. You could possibly go for an anger chem style if you really want to, but just keep in mind his pace won't be anything top tier in the midfield. It'll still be good. And you also are going to be giving the guy 94 strength, which would be absolutely amazing, right? It's just for me, I want to use this guy as a player that gets out to the per out to the person as fast as possible and obviously puts in that good tackle. So that is why I've gone for the Shadow Chem style. Now the shooting ability, he even gives it a good shooting ability, doesn't he? Like, it's nothing crazy, but if you get this guy inside a box somehow, some way, give it a go. Why not? The guy's got 83 finishing, 82 shot power with even 80 long shots as well. And you best believe we're going to be going for finesse shots today. Now, has he got any shooting traits? He actually does. He's got the outside foot shot trait, which is not an amazing trait this year, but it's still pretty good. Now, the passing ability, you're telling me he's even going to be one of those players that you can give the ball to in that midfield and you can just switch it. You can go for those long passes. You can go for those RBA straight to the striker and it's most likely going to get there because he's got 84 vision, 87 short passing with 84 long passing as well. So you can use this guy as a playmaker. Now his dribbling ability is looking okay. It definitely is. Like 91 reactions is really nice to work with, right? It's just everything else there looks good. I wouldn't say quite average because like eight full ball control is not average, right? It just, it looks okay. There's nothing special about it. I'm expecting him to feel decent on the ball. Nothing crazy. Now the defending stats, this is where I feel like he's really going to stand out because look how good the defending stats are with the shadow chem style applied. 96 interceptions, that ain't a joke already. Then you got 78 heading accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, 93 standing tackling, and 92 slide tackling. I'm expecting him to be an absolute beast on defense. Now, the physicals, 97 stamina, wow. 89 jumping, wow. 84 strength and 82 aggression. He's not one of those weak players. He's not one of those players that is going to try to avoid the contact contact situations. No, he is going to get involved. He is going to be one of those players that is going to try to fight for the ball. Now, the links. The links are amazing. There's no way of putting it. Yes, oh yeah, the nationality is not crazy good. It's no French player or Brazilian player, whatever, right? But you have to understand, the links this guy gets with certain players in the league is outrageous. You have a Luis Diaz, which obviously I have the gold card. You can go ahead and get the informed card, right? Then you got Corona, which you get a strong link with. A strong link with, sorry. Then you got Manafa, which you also get a strong link with. There's so many good players you can actually link this guy up with. I've just gone for Nakata. And uh, goal, Luis Diaz. I wish I had the inform, but it is what it is. When it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing this guy in two positions. The sentiment position and the CDM position in a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-4-2. So let's get into the games. Pass it down. There you go. Pass through the gap. Over to him. I'm just going to run forward a little bit here because I do want to see how he actually feels on the ball. That's a nice turn, by the way. Really nice turn. Oh, one dribbling feels good. Okay. Green time. Imagine. Imagine we started off like that. It, that would have been disgusting how good of a goal that would have been. But the dribbling there didn't seem bad. Didn't seem bad at all. He's actually inside the box there. Nice. Good tackle. Go for a ball roll here. And he's, I'm telling you, he doesn't feel bad on the ball. It must be because of that lean body type he actually has. And that's a really good pass. Well played. Maybe step up a little bit there. There you go. He actually used his strength to kind of lean into the person, let's say. He started doing a falling over animation, but... As long as he gets that play away from the ball, I'm always, always going to be happy. I'm just going to see if I can maybe double team this. He does reach out to that interception. He reaches out to that one as well. But look, look how unlucky we are not to come out with a ball, but we eventually do. And look how he's using his strength. Nice. Keep it going. Well played. Play that ball. It's a tight one, but he does make it. 
in back into the inside. Imagine. No, I thought that was actually going to end with a goal. And look at the animation, by the way, he had there. Can we get it? No, we can't. I'm just going to pass this all the way back because I see literally no option. Good ball roll. Nice turns. You see what I mean about how he feels on the ball? He doesn't feel bad at all. And you best believe we're going to go for it. Come on, man. Nah. With the 80 long shots he's got, obviously we're going to go for that time to time. Now, is it going to be very consistent? Probably not. I'm just going to cover the middle here. Surely he's going to eventually pass to it. There you go. It's a good interception. But EA, why has he not continued walking there? Why has he been completely locked off when he's right next to the ball? We can maybe go for a switch of play here. I want to see if this pass is actually going to work with him. Look how perfect that is, by the way. It's not like a floater either. It's literally directly onto the player. And that is a, a terrible pass, man. Like, what am I seeing there? What happened there? Surely he's going to try to go for a turn. And we are not going to allow it to happen. He used his aggression there. He used a little bit of strength as well. Just to get, I believe it's a Bamiang off the ball. Is this guy going to turn down? He does turn down. I'm actually going to believe in him here. Come on, stay close to him. There you go. Look at that transition speed and look at that strength to completely push the player off the ball. I'm just going to pass that down. He's actually wanting to make a run there as well. I do expect him, by the way, to do that time to time, especially. Oh, come on. Come on. Nah, especially with that high attacking work rate. I want him to make that movement. And then what an interception from Fakir there. I was not expecting that animation. Just run. Literally just run. We know he's not a slow player, so we can go for like unexpected sprints with him. And that right there, oh my god, man. It looked like an unbelievable shot. We even greened it as well, so I was kind of confident it was going to go in. Nakata, keep going. Just keep it going. You see him making that movement, by the way. He wants to go forward, and he's sitting there on the edge of the box wide open. I might as well go for it, and it ends up hitting a crossbar. Amazing shot. Straight up amazing shot. Unfortunate that it didn't go in, though. Is he just going to run with him? I reckon he is. He's going to be one of those people that just run off straight off kickoff with the striker. But we're not going to allow that to happen. And can we go for the switch of play here? It's a good pass, man. It's a very good pass. Just play that across. I could low-key play that into the middle, but that's an insane fake shot. And we're going to go for this. On his weaker foot, by the way. On that four-star weak foot. And the shot was that good. I'm going to second man press this just to see if we can actually come out with a ball. He's done well to get in front, by the way. Really well. I did not expect him. To get in front of that kind of situation. And I'm going to be honest to you guys. I completely forgot. He had three star skill moves in that occasion. I'm going to go for this. It's a good pass. He's just he's not in behind the player. He's going to want to pass down. Isn't he? There you go. Straight out to him. we we'll roll that as well. Can I play that across the line? I can. Well, we've been given a penalty. Which I'm going to be honest to you guys. Um, wasn't really a penalty. But we'll take it. We will happily take it. It's 70. He's got 74 pens to his game. Can he get the first goal? In his career, in this club, yes, he can. We always aim at top bins, and it always goes in. He's going to want to pass up. No, we couldn't get that. Surely he's going to pass back down, though. It doesn't matter which way you go, though. We're always going to be here. Go back up again. There you go, man. We get the ball. Keep going, and just play across the line. That's a good, really good cross, to be fair. And my boy is just sitting there, back stick. And he did actually win the header really nicely, but we nearly conceded there. He does really like to give me an option going forward, by the way. Like, he's really not that kind of person to just be, like, holding off in, like, that sentiment or even CDM position, let's say. He likes to go forward. He likes to be that person that gives you an option, like, on the edge of the box. And I don't mind that because he's not a player that doesn't feel good on the ball. No, he feels good on the ball. He's got an amazing passing ability. And, you know, time to time, you can give the long shot a go. Just going to see if I can maybe cover the edge of the box. He has to go for a turn, right? There you go. And that's when we put in that good tackle. Imagine trying to slide tackle me. From the back. Can I play this ball? I can. Come on, Banzer. Come on. Keep it going. Green across goal. There you go. No, 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 no. How are we going to rob him? Uh, rob him off an assist there. How? Come on. That needs to go in. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with him. We scored a single goal, which came off a penalty. I was hoping for a long shot, but hey, I'll take the penalty goal. And we didn't get ourselves a single assist either. He was playing perfect, like, through balls in behind. He really was. It's just the people he was passing to, for some odd reason, couldn't put the ball into the back of the net. No matter if I greened it or not, the ball just didn't want to go in. So, yeah, this guy definitely got robbed of at least two assists. Either way, he's an amazing box-to-box -box centre mid. He, in the CDM position as well, he works really, really well. I love this guy in a CDM position. I love the guy in a centre mid position as well. Like, the thing is, right... He's not just one-sided. He doesn't just go forward. He doesn't just defend either, right? He does both, and he does both really well. I thought, looking at the dribbling stats, oh, yeah, maybe, you know, 
it's not going to be a player that feels great on the ball. But because he's got that lean body type, he felt amazing. Like straight up, he felt absolutely amazing on the ball. This guy's pace, by the way, to get out to players, exceptional. The transition speed as well, amazing. It doesn't matter if the guy turns left. It doesn't matter if the guy turns right. This guy will always be there. He will always be there. He will be left. He'll be right. He'll be in the middle. He'll cover every single angle possible. The passing ability, you saw it, man. You saw how perfect it was. And the thing is as well, he could do it with both feet. It's not just like I'm forcing it onto this guy's right foot. It's not like I'm just forcing it onto this guy's left foot. No, both feet are just as good as each other. It's amazing how good the passing ability actually is. The defending ability, the interceptions was okay. I'm going to be honest. I didn't see it being 96 interceptions. I actually didn't. Like, he did pull out some nice animations to grab an interception, but there was a lot of occasions where he lifted up his leg and just allowed the ball to go straight under. So that is something I didn't actually like about him. But I tell you what, this guy's defensive awareness, he's standing tackling, and his slide tackling is really, really good. Every time he was going in for a tackle, he was aggressive. And I like an aggressive tackler. I don't like one of those people that just go in for the tackle, they don't follow through, and next thing you know, your opponent is getting all sorts of bounces, right? I want them to follow through. I want my player to put their player literally onto the ground, and that's what this guy was doing in multiple multiple occasions and the strength and aggression as well was really nice he wasn't like a let's say i don't know like a fafana when it comes down to the strength where he's going up to people and literally just completely pushing them out the way no he's one of those players that he fights for a good amount and then he'll eventually do it he's just not a player that goes up to him and just instantly does it the stamina as well was really nice because he's one of those players that does like to go forward a good amount. And he's one of those players that obviously needs to get back into his position. So having the 97 stamina, knowing that he's going to be doing that throughout the whole of the 90 minutes is amazing. Literally amazing, amazing to have. Now he's an objective player. He's, he's free. There's no argument about it. He is 100% worth it. How all-rounded he is, is simply amazing. Now, where would I put him? In the midfielder's tier list. Oh... Do I believe he goes into the S tier or do I believe he goes into the A tier? He's a good card. He is a very good card. But I don't believe he is an S tier card. So I am going to put him into the A tier. Now, would I take this card over for Fana? It depends how I'm using him. I prefer him going forward. 100% I do. But defensively, Fafana is a whole different level. He really is, man. So yeah, I would actually still take Fafana over this man but i'm telling you guys for a free card it's 100 worth the grind to put into it's 100 worth the time to put into but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace